Hello, this is a very informal video today, but my girls and I got to go to my niece's baby shower. So we've had some girl time. And while we were driving home, somehow it came up, I don't know, I can't remember exactly how, but we were talking about yeah. weight and like why it would be important to weigh yourself. So I asked my girls, cause I was curious to know why, or when would it be a good thing to weigh yourself? And I want you guys to hear their answers cause I just thought it was, I just love the innocence of kids so much. So um, let's see, go ahead and answer that question girls. Um, if you're taking like medications or something. If you, you play a sport. Hold on, one at a time. Um, so if, if you're taking medications, yes, then you would need to know what you weigh so they know how to dose the medication appropriately. Um, if you're playing a sport like my brother, he played football and like you need like weigh yourself so you know what position. Yep, you yeah, can only be certain positions. If um, you, if you want to sit in the front seat. You, you want to sit in the front seat of a car ride. or to get out of a car seat, right? Um, if you want to ride a bike without breaking it, you need to like, just like an estimate. Sometimes it'll much. say like how much you can, how much that bike, depending on if it's like a kid's bike, how much, how much you can weigh to ride it safely, right? Or a tramp. Or a trampoline. Sometimes it'll say like the total weight of a trampoline, and so you'll have to, you know, make sure you don't have too many people on at one time. So all of these reasons, like I just love, none of them have anything to do with, you know, because it's related to how you look. So then I asked my my girls. By the way, this is Sophie here, and this is Piper. So sorry, I forgot to introduce you two. Um, then I asked them if they remember the day that we got rid of our scale. Oh, I love that day. Okay, so tell about that. We ran over it with the car like 500 times, five times, five It took a while. It was like, we weren't in as big of a car at the time. I drove a minivan and it was stubborn. It was hard to break. I thought one time and it just crushed to pieces, but I had to go forward and back and forward and back. And five then times. we got an extra brick and like- Well, we were doing our backyard at that time. On it. And we had an extra like stone and my mom had to stomp on it. And she got the stone and chucked it at it. Yeah, her. and then I kept ha hammering it like with this stone. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing will not die. This stupid, stupid scale. And then what would, did we do after Then we that? did s'mores and like, um, you like wrote down like some of the things you didn't like. And like we, like on the paper and, and then we crumbled it. I wrote down like eating it. disorder behaviors and, and I had like sick pictures of me in there. And, and we chucked it in the fire and then we did s'mores and we all like, and then we ate a bunch of s'mores, yeah. Mm -hmm. So those were that was a glorious day, really truly. We haven't had a scale in our house since, right? Um, and then is there anything else that you guys want to add that Oh daycare. Oh daycare. daycare. They brought up the gym too and mm -hmm. said remember when you used to go to the gym forever. And Piper has something to say. If you're a mom out there <laughs> that goes to the gym for excessive periods of time, or if you're in like recovery you. and you're going at all. How did you guys feel about um, that? I got mm -hmm. mad at you every single time because- They started to resent me. <laughs> because you did like half the day of workout. Yeah. My attention yeah. to but workout I also met lots of us. friends. Yeah. yeah, they felt like working out was more important than them, which mm -hmm. is so sad. So if you're someone in recovery and you're struggling to let go of that compulsion, or you're even struggling to let go of lower level movement because you're trying to work on an exercise compulsion, please, please, please just do it. Please do it for your kids, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, very informal video, but I just wanted to capture this conversation that we had while it was still fresh in their heads because I just, like I said, I just love how innocent kids are and we can keep them that way if we educate them and talk to them and um, just have open conversations with them. So, all right. Have a great day.